please subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification bell in order to get the latest updates. I'm not promising that Sagat will be general. He said, if I come to you, I say, you know, now you call, I say, now Moja Moja. I tell you, Sagat, I know you know my Kelebe, so I go come. The Center for Human Rights and Democracy in Africa, abbreviated SHIDA, has denounced the acts of human rights violations perpetrated by John Ewona Ekobo, known as Moja Moja, soldier of the Rapid Intervention Battalion and traditional chief of the Boasa village in the southwest region of Cameroon. A complaint against him was filed at the military court in Yaoundé. On August 20, 2022, a group of lawyers led by Mr. Amungwa Tangi, Nicodemus and Mr. Tamfu Gaba were summoned to the Central Judicial Research Department of the National Gendarmerie. The purpose of that summon was to confirm the complaint filed with the military court in Yaoundé against the name John Ewome Ekobo, better known as Moja Moja. He is a soldier of the Rapid Intervention Battalion, the B, and also a traditional chief of the Buasa village. He is accused of torture and abuse of office. To this day, these lawyers no longer know the fate reserved for their complaint. Meanwhile, the human rights abuses attributed to Moja Moja continue to The worsen. report of the Center for Human Rights and Democracy in Central Africa, Childa, following the act of inhuman and degrading treatment concerning this soldier serving in the Rapid Intervention Battalion, the B, gives goose pimples. In the report, we learn that the soldier known as Moja Moja has a certain court martial in Boya where he inflicts inhuman and degrading treatment on the men and women of the city. In that report, published last week, the Chida reviews numerous cases of inhuman treatment suffered by men and women of the Southwest this year region. from June to November 2022. At least 40 cases of acts of barbarism have been recorded. Some victims still show signs of physical trauma. The Chida report explains that Moja Moja's modus operandi is unprecedented. It arrests people they suspect of being accomplices and of the them to the point that some are now disabled. According to the Cameroon web, for the past three months, the state allows these acts of violence to violate all natural laws and conventions ratified by Cameroon on the respect In of human particular rights. Article 2 of the International Convention on civil and political rights which provides states parties to this part undertake to guarantee that any person whose rights and freedoms recognized in this part have been violated will have an effective remedy even though the violation may have been committed by persons acting in the exercise of their official the functions. center for human rights and democracy headed by the lawyer abobala noted that the acts of inhuman and barbaric treatment attributed to Moja Moja are well known to the administrative and judicial authorities of the Southwest region. This soldier from the Rapid Intervention Battalion also has logistical means of transport which allow him to deploy to carry out barbaric arrest and the multiple complaints filed in the various judicial bodies of the Southwest remain unanswered. This impunity Contrary to the principle that a rule of law, such as Cameroon must respect, leaves the populations in a state of general psychosis. A source at the military court says that a preliminary investigation has been opened following the complaint filed by the collective of lawyers. Moja Moja had arrested a pregnant woman at the start of the year, presented as the ex-girlfriend of a separatist general. The lady had spent several months in detention before being released. The Center for Human Rights and Democracy in Africa, headed by Felix Agbobala, has written to the United Nations Committee against torture.